Greg Willen spends his winters playing pro soccer and usually spends his summers teaching at soccer camps or spending time with his family. But this summer, he's home in Cape Coral, rehabilitating a knee injury that ended his season back in February. When I went down, uh, I heard a little pop, but uh, I thought I just twisted or did something. I got up, walked a couple of steps and says, no, nah, I can't go anymore. Coming back from a knee injury is a long and sometimes scary practice for any athlete, but the high-tech Biodex machine that Greg sweats and strains with every day has strengthened his injured left knee to the point where it's actually stronger than his right. The patient has to uh, initiate the movement and resist the armature in such a manner that the arm tries to bend the knee while he's trying to hold it straight and then tries to straighten the knee while he's trying to keep it bent. And so you're kind of working in, in reverse forces. Just like any athlete, uh, he knows what he has to do to push. And, uh, you know, being that I don't have anybody, to, I'm, I'm against the machine. Mm -hmm. And I'm really against myself trying to build up the strength, so I'm better. While Greg rebuilds his knee, American soccer is trying to rebuild itself. But Greg's not worried about maybe one day not having a league or a team to go back to. We just got the uh, announcement from the 1994 World Cup. So we're going to see more uh, corporate sponsors, I think, uh, as the United States Soccer Federation has to look to build an outdoor league for more soccer, more soccer being played by Americans. So with a little luck and a lot of hard work, both the game of American soccer and Greg Willen's knee should be ready and healthy come the start of next season. In Cape Coral, Ken Tomash, Wink Sports.